Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, I am bringing you all a makeup look which a lot of people have been asking me to film and today I will be doing the rattlesnake makeup look because this makeup look is kind of a bit different and it kind of adds a proper colour into like your makeup kind of look and I will be using the Gorgeous Peaches and Cream Pigment in Rattlesnake, hence why it's called the Rattlesnake Makeup Look because that's the name of the pigment and it does actually complete the makeup look so well and oh my god I am obsessed with it so I will be filming this video for you guys and I'm really excited to film it because I don't I think I've filmed a makeup tutorial in a good few months and I do have a strong passion for makeup and it would be nice to do some more makeup videos but I need to I need to build up my confidence to film makeup videos again because it can be quite hard filming them. But yeah, but before we get into this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. And let's try to get a goal of 30 likes on this video. Also subscribe and make sure, I mean, oh my god, I am messing up my words today. You make sure to leave a comment and also subscribe to my channel. It would be nice to get to 4,000 subscribers, but without further ado, let's go on with the video. So, as you guys can see, I am a very bare face. My skin has been breaking out overnight, even though I used a spot kind of paste to dry them up. But it's fine, because I'm going to be able to cover it up with makeup anyway. But the first step in my kind of makeup routine is the Morphe eyebrow made. I like to do my eyebrows first because it kind of starts the whole kind of makeup routine and then I'll move on to eyeshadow after this. So I'm going to be using my Peaches and Cream eyebrow brush in PC09 and what I like to do is basically brush out the brows as so. I did actually wax my eyebrows a couple of days ago and now they're in really good shape. I think doing eyebrows can be quite hard and it has taken me like it has taken me quite a few years to perfect the kind of eyebrow um, look on my face, but I find it easier. I find it easier ever since I started waxing my eyebrows to fill them in now. So you know it's fine. I'm just gonna keep on filling them in until they're both done because this part is really boring. So I apologise. Like yeah, because it does take a while to fill them in sometimes. Now it's time to carve out my brows, and I will be using. The Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer in C2 to kind of like use this as my eyeshadow base and I will be using the Peaches and Cream PC40 brush because it's a perfect flat brush for kind of carving out your eyebrows and use it for your eyeshadow base so I'm just going to put a little blob on my eyelid and then kind of blend it in and I will show you how to do this because using the flat brush is actually perfect for doing with the eye base because like it makes it all nice and smooth and even for the eyeshadow be, for the eyeshadow to be put on. I've not filmed a makeup tutorial in what it feels like years. This is really weird for me to be filming like a makeup video because it, it it's very more like it's more like a formal kind of sit down video. But I'm just gonna kind of go up to the bottom of my brows. I prefer using an eyebrow pomade because you can kind of add like hair strokes and stuff and you just kind of make your eyebrows look a bit thicker and also adds a lot of colour to your brows as well. I occasionally use an eyebrow pencil but it doesn't do the same job as an eyebrow pomade that's why I use that pomade because it is so much easier to fill in your brows. Anyway, but now that this is all blended in. I'm now going to move on to eyeshadow and the gorgeous and the gorgeous eyeshadow palette I will be using today is the, the Morphe 35X All Valentine's palette. This palette is actually stunning. Are you ready to see this? It's beautiful. Oh my god, the colours are amazing. So the colour which I'm going to use today, because I will be using the, the gorgeous rattlesnake pigment from Peaches and Cream, I'm thinking we're going for like a brownie kind of eye look, but not too dark because when you add really dark eyeshadows with green it kind of it makes it go weird so I'm maybe thinking go for just friends this one here and maybe or maybe even let's snuggle and then blend it out into just friends can have a bit of a fade so what I'm going to do is use the Spectrum A12 brush because it's perfect for patting on eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the shade let's snuggle 
which is like a, a lovely browny colour. Really nice. I'm just going to put this onto my eyes like so. And yeah, this adds a lot of colour. This is going straight onto my crease as well, by the way, because I'll show you what will happen when I blend it all out and stuff. Like, you look amazing. Using brown eyeshadows on green eyes really makes your eyes pop, so that's why I like using browns or oranges on my eyes because it just makes your eyes like go up. Love it so much. But yes, I'm going to add this onto the crease and then I'm going to show you how I blend it out because you need to see this transition. Honestly, you guys need to see this. It looks incredible. I do have a bit of like a croaky voice because I've not been up that long. I think I've only been up for like an hour and a half, so please excuse the croakiness and the state of my face right now. I'm now going to move on to the shade it's Just Friends because it's like a lighter brown colour and I can blend it out. And I will be using the Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush because like it's really fluffy and it's amazing for blending out any colours on the eyes. So it's going to blend until it's all nicely blended. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my god, I love that. I actually love that so much. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Time for the pigment time. Yeah, but before I add the pigment, I'll be using the best P. Louise base in town, the Room Zero, because it just is amazing. And oh my god, my voice is so croaky again. And if you guys haven't tried the P. Louise bases, highly recommend. I think they're around £10, but oh my god, like, here they are. Incredible. And I will be using this base to cut the crease to then add the eye pigment on too. And I will be using again the same brush I used to cover my eyebrows up with, which is a peach and cream brush in PC40. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit on the brush. I'm going to make a little dot because that's all I need. And then I'm just going to slide down on my eyelid and kind of go around a little bit. But you'd have to be very gentle because it can smudge sometimes. But I'm just going to like go around like so and basically carve the eyelid or cut the crease if that's what you want to call it it's a more technical term <laughs> anyway I highly recommend P. Louise bases if you want to be going for like cut crease kind of looks because it it definitely is a good base and it doesn't really smudge or anything so yeah and then now I'll be using a little bit of glitter glue because it'll basically help the pigment stick. So I'm using Too Faced glitter glue because it's the best one in town that I like to use. I'm going to put like a little bit on the brush and just put it over where I've put the P. Louise base but not all over the lid, only kind of halfway if that makes any sense or probably not but yeah. There we go and then now it's time for the pigment. So. I'll be using Rattlesnake because it's absolutely gorgeous. I love that pigment so much. The colour is insane. And so what I'm going to do, I'm using a cheap kind of flat brush to kind of put it on with. I bought like 12 or 3 for £4, but they're actually really good brushes. I highly recommend going on eBay if you want some good cheap brushes. I'm just going to kind of pat it on a little bit. And we'll see the magic happen because it's just a gorgeous pigment. I love it. Like, oh my god, it's coming through already. I love it. The colour. You can build the colour up pretty easily. It's perfect for going on nights out with. Or like, the kind of every day. If you want it to be kind of glam every day. I wish I could have the effort to put makeup on every day. But honestly, I cannot. I think with eye makeup, you, you just need to be confident and just go for it. Yeah, because like, yeah, people always say, oh, I wish I could do like this sort of eye look, but when you put your mind to it, you can do it. So, yeah, and it's taken me years to perfect eye looks, but the practice is perfect, doesn't it? So, yeah. But, oh my God, the colour is insane. I love it so much. Yeah, it's actually unreal. I love it. It's actually unbelievable. Oh my God, I love it. Honestly, yeah, I'm... <laughs> how obsessed if you can't already tell that colour is beautiful and now I'm just going to kind of add a bit of like a like a brownie colour to the end to kind of have a bit of a fade because that's what you do I'll be using 
the Spectrum brush again and I will be going in with the shade, oh what's it called, the Let's Snuggle. I'm just going to kind of brush it on the end to have a bit of a nice blend. And now both eyes have the gorgeous pigment on, honestly the colour, yeah, beautiful. And I'll be moving on to eyeliner so I will be using this the Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Liner in black because I like a bit of black liner and I just will be using a cheap liner brush to go along at the top of my eyelids and then in my waterline. Eyeliner can be tricky when you don't know how to apply it but once you get the hang of it it is easy as pie honestly. With the waterline it can be very tricky to do but as I said it's like you want to get the hang of it it's fine but all you have to do is really i'll use this side is just you pull your eye down and just go on the waterline i have to look in this mirror because it's easy to look in that mirror but just kind of look like that and then we've got the waterline done easy as that you know it's fine and if you look in this side of the mirror perfect it's all black it's all covered time for face makeup guys the eyeliner it's all done on my eyes. I did also add a bit of mascara as well but that's like really boring. But anyway, another primer. I will be using the Too Faced Peachy Primer because it's beautiful. I'm just going to pump and put it all over my face and then blend it in. It's super quick and easy and it also smells like peaches as well so I highly recommend if you want a good matte primer which smells like peaches get the Too Faced one. I do love Too Faced makeup and it always like works well on my skin whatever product I use from Too Faced. So yeah, but now that the, the primer is all done, I will be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow because it's like my everyday foundation and I'm very pale. And hence why I do use the shade Snow, but the coverage needs to be more like a medium coverage. I probably should be using a higher coverage foundation for my spotty skin, but honestly, I can't be bothered with like a heavy, thick foundation at the minute because it'll probably clog up my skin even more. So I'm just going to use this and what I do, like you can it's probably really bad but I just like pump it onto my face because I feel like you get more out of the foundation when you pump it onto your face. I'm just going to pump it on the forehead, on the cheeks, just everywhere where I need the foundation to go. There we go. And then I went my beauty blender. Do with this, it's actually running onto my lips, that's why I'm talking weird now. I'm just going to spray this a few times and then blend it in. I like to use a damp beauty blender because it always blends in the foundation a lot better and yeah the coverage is always a lot better that's why I use it it's just going to kind of beat my face up until it's all blended in foundation is all on my face and I will be using a cream contour so I will be using in my all five points even though like I've had this for like a couple of years because I got this in my first college kit but the brush I will be using is again another peaches and cream brush oh i dropped it on myself lovely i've got a bit of makeup on my tummy now lovely the peaches and cream pc 18 honestly this brush is perfect because it, it's so small and perfect for cream contour i will be using the darker shade and what i do is just kind of pat it on my cheekbones like so and it adds a bit of color onto my cheeks and obviously contours them as well and then yeah, what I do after this is use a bit of concealer under my under eyes and on my nose and stuff and then I pad my face after that and then I can move on to like my powdered kind of stuff like the bronzer and highlighter and yeah but I'm just going to keep on doing this onto my face on my forehead as well just add a bit of colour on there I'm contour done and it's now time for concealer I will be using Revolution Concealer in C2 I'm just going to put this onto my eyes, on my chin and on my nose and then I use my beauty blender again and then I will be powdering my face with this. I've increased concealer under your under eyes just makes your makeup look awful. Using concealer just makes your face so much better and it makes you look less tired and just, like it adds a bit of like a glow and colour to your face and yeah it's just overall a good concealer. I'm going to use a tiny bit of my forehead that's moved up. And then now time for powder. So the powder I will be using is the Revolution in Matte 1 in P3. The brush I will be using 
I use the two brushes of powders. This one's like under my eyes, which is Revolution One in in three or two. I'm just gonna I put this under my under eyes, and then I will be using the Spectrum powder brush in A or one on my face, like all of my face pretty much. And this brush is so soft, that's why I like using it for powder because the the Real Techniques powder brushes are always like really sharp and scratchy on your face so using this one is just like so nice and soft and sets your makeup in place like so and I love it and then now it is time for bronzer so the bronzer I will be using is the Too Faced one the Natural Lust bronzer so the brush I'll be using again is Spectrum A05 and I'll, I'll be using this gorgeous bronzer. The packaging is absolutely unreal. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. And I'm just going to put this like on my cheekbones, on top of like my cream contour. I'll be using this one here which is PC03. Here for my nose, it's like a very kind of soft light brush. And I use this brush to add a bit of colour onto my nose like that. Like that, because that is how the makeup look is done, and then I'll kind of blend it out a little bit and use this brush again, just kind of blend it a little bit. Make sure that it's not kind of harsh lines or anything, because we don't want any of that, do we, these days, people? We do not want any of that. So, yeah, here it is. And then next up, I will be using setting spray. I'm very excited about little setting spray. The setting spray I will be using is the Candy Cosmetics one, it's a pre glow up mist and it makes your face very sparkly but very nice and it is also perfect for adding highlighter on top so that's why I love using it. It is in the shade, if it, if, if it has a shade I don't even know if it does, no, but it's like the lighter colour, I love it so much. So what I'm going to do is just spray my face. And then time for highlighter. I will be using the Doll Beauty highlighter in like a diamond. Chambrel like a diamond. And the brush I will be using, if I can find it, is Peach and Cream PC26. Honestly, Peach and Cream brushes, I cannot you rave about them enough, they're beautiful. But I'm just going to add a little bit on my nose. Look at that glow on here. Wow. This is adding all. The colour and glow you, you need to face. Ooh, damn. And then I'll be using like a small little brush for like my inner corner. Up there. Inner corner again. I'm a wee bit more my nose cut like I'm addicted to highlighter. But yeah, it, it, it's just like this. I love it. Look at that lovely glow. Ooh, 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 damn. Now the time for the tricky part of makeup, which I think is kind of a bit tricky, is eyelashes because applying eyelashes is very tricky. And I'm not gonna lie, it is it's something that I can struggle with sometimes. It depends on the type of lashes as well. I will be using these gorgeous saucy eyelashes in a new look in New York. You can buy them from Primark for a fiver. I love these eyelashes because they do add a lot of volume and. They are kind of long eyelashes. I will be using the dual lash glue as well. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and apply the glue to the band. The dual lash glue is my favourite because it keeps your lashes on your eyelids all day, and um, it's just better quality as well compared to cheap eyelash glues. And plus, I think I'm kind of like allergic to cheap eyelash glues as well, so that's why I do have to use dual because. I know that I can trust it. And now I'm just going to kind of close my eye a little bit and what I'll do is I just, you know, kind of put it on my eye where I think it should go. There we go. And then onto the other eye. Here, which I'll do off camera because it takes forever. Eyelashes are on. You know, the glue is, you know, the glue is still kind of setting on my eyelashes. So I'm just kind of waiting for that to set. But I think I'm going to add a bit of eyeliner like over it I think because sometimes you can see a bit of the glue I think I'm just going to go for this I'm just going to add a bit of eyeliner again because don't you want to see the band of the lash right okay that lash do I don't 
I don't want to move the lashes too much because that will just damage them. You know, and that's just very difficult. But anyway, I'm just going to use a bit of excess eyeshadow off this brush and just kind of blend underneath here because it's like it finishes the look. It's a nice browny colour. And it, it blends it all in and then I'm going to use a bit of mascara on in the bottom lashes. I'll be using Maybelline Lash Sensational because it is beautiful and it, it's a really good mascara. There we go. And now time for lips. So I will be using the Morphe Lip Liner in Frenchy. It's like a nude colour and I'm going to line my lips with this obviously. Then, now, I'm going to be using Peach and Cream Gloss in Fudge to finish the makeup look off, honestly. The Peach and Cream Glosses are my ultimate favourite. They are stunning. Love them so much. So, I'm just going to use like a little lip, I'm going to use like a lip gloss brush to apply it with. And apply it onto my lips. There we go. So here is the finished rattlesnake makeup look honestly I love it so much like the pigment is definitely like a gorgeous colour to make your eyes pop 100% if you guys you want to see any other makeup looks leave least some comments on what time of makeup looks you like to see honestly I actually really enjoyed filming this makeup look I love really film makeup tutorials and I know I'm probably not the best at filming them if you would like to see more you let me know and also leave a thumbs up on this video and a comment and also subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video, bye for the